Okay, here's that valve, that connector. So your cable will be coming out of here. So you pull this screw here. This guy will come apart here. Then you may have a, a gasket here that comes off. And take you a small flat tip screwdriver and you'll see on one of these corners there's a notch here. So you get your screwdriver in the notch. Uh, you may need to spin this down that way you're not maybe take that clear down that way you don't have anything pulling on your cable too much and you might have to you might have to push your cable up in there a little bit to kind of relieve some of the strain being pulled and then you can take your screwdriver and you just pop that like that and then as this guy comes out you may need to push this you might need to take this screw clear out of here So screw out, pop this guy here, and then as you're taking this out, you'll have to feed the cable in there a little bit. And then you'll see you're only using two pins. Um, I want to say it's probably pin one and pin four. So just make a note of what two pins you're using before you uh, disconnect that. But these guys, it's, it's usually two opposite pins. But these guys are notorious, these little clamps, for coming a little loose or whatever. Um, I've also seen these entire connectors short out. So if you pull this thing apart, if you remove your two wires from here, just twist your wires together and insulate them or stick a wire nut on them or something, then you've bypassed. You're still using your entire circuit, but you're bypassing the sensor. Then you can see if your problem's still there.